This week we celebrated our first harvest from our hydroponics unit in the library. We invited everyone who played a part in helping bring or get started our hydroponics program. We even had enough salad and harvest left over to deliver to teachers who were teaching in the building that day. A great time was had by all and we can't wait till everyone's back on campus enjoying the fruits of our harvest. Good morning, Nate Mac Elementary. It's Farmer Monica coming to you from your school garden. And today I want to talk to you about temperature. Now temperature changes throughout the day and night. Usually it's cooler in the evenings and at night than it is during the daytime when the sun comes up and it's bright and beautiful and warms everything up. I love the sun, I love being warm. But temperature also changes with the seasons. So it's warmer in the spring, hot in the summer, cooler in the fall, and then cold in the winter. So right now, do you know what season we're in? We're in fall. So the temperature is starting to go down. It's starting to decrease, and we're starting to have cooler days and cooler nights. And of course, this affects the plants growing in our garden. There are some plants that like to grow when it's warmer out. So in the spring, in the summer, that's when they thrive. And then we call those our warm weather crops. Then there are plants that prefer to grow when it's cooler out, so in the fall and in the winter, and we call those our cool weather crops. So let me show you a few examples. So over here, we have our tomatoes. And as you can see, they're thriving, they're beautiful, they're full of flowers, they're starting to produce some fruit even. Um, here's a nice tomato fruit. Bum, bum, bum. So nice. The tomatoes really like when the temp when it's warm outside. They like those higher temperatures. So they thrive in the spring and the summer and even the early fall right now when we're still having 80 degree Fahrenheit days. Then we also have zucchini, which also prefers those warmer temperatures. And just a quick little update, our zucchini fruit Wow, check it out, it's huge! <laughs> it's so big. But zucchini is a warm weather crop. It likes when it's warm outside. And then so does our loofah. And as you can see, we have a nice loofah flower right here and lots of loofah fruit on our vine. So these are examples of our warmer weather crops. Then we have crops such as our nasturtium and our Kale. See the little kale plants coming up right there? And our Swiss chard. There's a beautiful Swiss chard. And these are plants that prefer to grow when it's cooler outside. So our cooler weather crops. Another great example of that cooler weather crops are our broccoli that you can see growing right here. And our cauliflower that's peeking up underneath this zucchini leaf. These are our cooler weather crops. So you might be wondering, what's gonna happen whenever the temperature continues to decrease and it starts getting colder out? Well, of course, the plants in our garden are going to change. The warmer weather crops, the warm weather crops, are going to complete their life cycle for the season. And I will replace them with cooler weather crop seeds. So as this happens, I will keep you updated on all the changes that happen in our school garden. And maybe right now, today, you can find out what the, t what the temperature is like where you are right now as you're watching this video. Here at your school garden on Thursday, November 5th at 7.30 in the morning, it's about 65 degrees. It feels really great. The sun's coming out. It's starting to warm everything up. And I think it's going to be a really beautiful day. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye.